Welcome back, CoinOps fans. This is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Project Discord. Wanted to get that intro because, yes, this is Legends 4 Max coming out probably today. So I wanted to let you know the differences. If you have already uh, seen uh, or you want to know about the visual modes and the 18 themes that are coming out in Legends 4, which is released last week, this is Max. So I'm only going to cover the additional stuff in here. If you want to see all the visual modes, the 18 themes and the error that I made, it's not six visual modes. It's seven visual modes. I just had the graphic and spoke about it incorrectly. There are seven visual modes, 18 themes that are now part of the Legends 4 builds. The Legends 4 build that came out last week was MAME only. And this new version, Max, has additional 33 games and emulators, all included artwork. It is absolutely maxed out. It has got all the beautiful coin ops touches. So with that, folks, I do want you to take a look in the uh, main directory. When you get it, the whole thing unzipped is about 104 gigs and it comes in 138 RARs. This build that I have to look and review and test, it has the 33 additional games with the additional emulators and cores, okay? There are PC games in here. There's RetroArch cores. There are uh, PS3, PS2, PS1, all included now. Um, there's also PlayStation Portable. There's Dreamcast. There's GameCube. All of these additions in here to round out this beautiful build. I want to remind folks, always take a look in the helpers as well, okay? The reason I say that is because along with the standard executables, which again, all of that's covered in the other video and I'll have a link in the description. So you have your all playlist favorites and alls for all of the games, the Legends Micro, which is the uh, even smaller curated group. It just pulls, I believe, 110 out of there. But in the max, there is Street Fighter, Capcom and Street Fighter. Back by popular demand, these executables will start up just a 24 game fighters build or the Street Fighter 12 games I uh, included. And I'll show those off briefly. Uh, Joy to Key is in here. Do not map your controls with Joy to Key. It is used to exit all of those extra emulators. MAME and RetroArch do not need uh, Joy to Key to help. Uh, the coin and start or the back and start, depending on what type of controls you use, will get out of games. But uh, some of these other emulators need to be forced quit. That's where Joy to Key is used. Do not use it for anything else. There is not background music randomizing in Legends 4 Max. Joy to Key. In the MAME only builds like Forgotten Worlds, Forgotten Worlds 2, and Legends 4 non-max have Joy to Key in there. But again, that's not to close the emulators. That's to randomize the background music. Max will have a retrofit or a patch later, I'm told. But as of right now, it does not have the background music. It's got to be implemented in a different way. So the reason I said helpers, though, I want you to understand that in here, there are two more executables and tucked away. The Legends Elite settings free and Legends Micro settings free. So if you have folks that come over, you have this in a public area and you don't want the settings to be available, not only is there a bat file, but you can swap it out for this executable as well. It's in the helpers directory. Take a look around in here, folks. Uh, everybody always asks on the artwork channels, etc., on the discord server. Hey, do you have a, you know, are there bezels? Are there cabinet templates that I can work from because I want to add my own? With that though, I want you to understand Legends 4, because of the new themes, the artwork is uh, much more demanding. Yes, you can add games just like any other coin ops build. You can add your emulators. Just understand though, the artwork requirements now need full caps. You need different size marquees. You need different size videos to make all of the themes work. It's a little more intensive. However, the collaboration on the Discord server is amazing on the artwork channel as well. It's really worth it because the 18 themes that come with it are absolutely gorgeous. So some of the other factors that have occurred in uh, some of the changes, I should say, between even just Legends 4 and Max. There's only a week in between these releases. Already some changes have been made. One of the main things that uh, you need to know previously, favorites, if you look in the bottom left, it has the pulsating heart so that, you know, when you're in that playlist, you actually have uh, an indication that this is the favorites playlist. I have taken the time before doing this video to wipe out, use the clear favorites bat, and then I put only the 33 games that are additional. So I'm gonna scroll through them quickly. These 33 games are the ones that are added into the max, all right? I also posted on the Discord server which emulators are running each one of these so that you, uh, those that want the technical knowledge, maybe making their own changes, etc. But these are the 33 games that are now included in max beyond what comes in the regular version. Also, 
There's a special bat for Super Mario 64. By default, it's run out of Retroarch uh, under the, uh, I think it's the Mew Pin Next core, but there is a way to swap it out so that you can use the PC widescreen version if you so choose. I'll cover that briefly. All right, so these are the 33. Also, everybody, Ultra Street Fighter 4, if you have this and you get a windowed version, the first time, just press Alt plus Enter. It will make it go full screen, and it will remember that setting. Also, read the fact and look around. If it doesn't start and you get an error, there's a Steam API DLL. You need to make an exclusion so that it doesn't keep eating that file. It's a very, very common issue that gets asked quite a bit. All right, so with all of that, those are the three games, 33 games. But in the bottom left, there's the favorites. It's Pulsating Heart. In the old builds, Last Played also exhibited that behavior. That has been removed. It wasn't quite making sense. Last Played now has the regular style heart so that you can use your start button to be able, even if you want a favorite stuff, in the last played. So it's it, when it was pulsating before in last played, you couldn't see the difference and it wasn't very intuitive. Also, one of the things favorites is locked down. The toggling is turned off. It used to be that if you toggled anything in the favorites, it couldn't add it again to favorites. The only thing it could do was remove it from favorites and it got kind of confusing. So the toggling in the favorites playlist alone is disabled. The start button won't do anything in here anymore. Uh, and I think that's better for the user experience. Also, it makes it easier on me because when I explain it, the fact and the readme, it, 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 unless you've done it, it really doesn't make that much sense. So, uh, as well, folks, uh, just a little bit of a tidbit not to do with uh, Legends 4 Max, but uh, Legends 4 and Forgotten Worlds are getting a patch with some uh, different no bezel and scanline effects options that are going to be available. Look on the Discord server for that. That's a little bit of an announcement outside the Max realm. But let's go to the settings playlist. Glass and bezels replaces day and night mode. Why? Because there's more than day and night mode. There is day, dusk, night mode, and four other, total of seven pixel, total of seven. There are four other options that are now covered under glass and bezels. And again, look in my prior video for Legends 4. I spend more time there. These are the arcades one and two themes. These are straight from Forgotten Worlds. Arcades without the two is the standard size cabinet. Arcades two theme is the larger size cabinet. This is not like Forgotten Worlds where you can tweak each and every little aspect of the view. These themes are brought in with the best of. So arcades, arcades two. Cabinet theme, cabinet two. Again, I explained this all in the other video. Go back there and watch. Notice that there's no bezels in the videos here, but there are in cabinet two. Same thing with the marquee and marquee two. Those are the differences there, but Pay a little bit of attention. There's player theme. So you don't have the Legends bezels. You have the player bezels. Nothing encroaching on your game screen. Player 2 takes those player bezels, but instead of the top horizontal, you now have a wheel on the right side. Kind of the best of both worlds without the cabinets. Poster theme. Spend a little time. Turn this one on and check it out, folks. It uses the covers, shows that wonderful artwork, and then fades into the full Legends lower spin theme. It's a great use of all the artwork that's already included. Uh, spin theme, spin two, that's top and bottom spin, vertical theme, wall theme was added into L4, but also wall two theme, the darkened theme. And I'm going to move around in this one just as I show things, just because it's kind of, I believe it's going to be a fan favorite. Looking in the bottom right, you see that the icon there is the dusk icon. It's not the filled in sun, it's the dusk icon. So we have the dusk glass and bezels going, and this is wheel I'm sorry, this is wall two, which is also dark wall. Absolutely brilliant as far as reminiscing walking down those darkened arcade corridors looking for the game you wanted to drop your quarters in. Again, enough with that though, that's all covered in the Legends 4. I just wanted to be able to show off the new games, show what else is here as far as uh, some of the additional aspects that have been included in the max build. And again, uh, Afterburner Climax 2, is, it's a PS3 game. This is Dreamcast. This is Dreamcast. This is PS1. Dreamcast. This is actually a piece, Sega Racing Classic uh, hack to a PC game of Daytona USA. Daytona USA 2 is uh, Supermodel or Model 3, I think it's also known as. Even though this is a Doom cabinet, this is Doom 2, emulated through the RetroArch, uh, I think it's PR Boom Core. Dragon's Lair, Daphne, of course, one of my favorites. Dragon's Lair 2, Daphne, Zero GX. I think this one is 
GameCube, and well, actually maybe this one's GameCube, and uh, I don't remember. I have a listing of which ones those come for. Dreamcast. This one is GameCube, 64, Arcade GP. These are Dolphin Triforce because these were the arcade versions. And Double Dash, I believe this is also a GameCube. And Dreamcast, this is a PC version of OutRun 2. Scud Race, uh, Supermodel Model 3. Sega Rally, Supermodel Model 3. Sega, so this is gonna be the, uh, I think in the, uh, across the pond, it's Mega Drive CD. This is a uh, Genesis CD. Dreamcast again. Daphne again. Everybody Nintendo 64, back. Nintendo 64. I believe this one might be a GameCube. And Tekken 5 is a PS2 game. Ultimate Ghost of Goblins is PlayStation Portable. Uh, this is PC. And again, if you get a windowed version, press Alt Enter the first time, it'll save that setting to go to full screen. And if there's any DLL issues, uh, read the fact or go to the Discord. Just restore it from your antivirus and gobble it up. Under Defeat, also Dreamcast, Zero Gunner, Dreamcast. All right, so with that explanation, I'm gonna exit out of the games. You can look at how they look in the other video. I wanted to let you know, let's take a quick look at the fighter versus Capcom. These fighter executables will simply take your entire build and make it a single, I'm going up and down. It, there's no favorites, nothing, because they're all favorites. If you're a fighters fan, there are 24 Capcom fighters. Okay, scroll through these quickly so you can see what they are. Those of you with the pause button, feel free. I'm not gonna read all of them. Uh, Pixel tends to make videos a little too long. So if you want to take a minute to just look at these 24, this is the Capcom inclusion. And then there's just the 12 Street Fighters alone, which are down here. Okay, if my taskbar will stop doing the dance there. We'll jump in and you'll see the 12 Street Fighters that are included, all right? This is the beautiful Wall 2 theme. These are the 12 that are Street Fighter only. So you have those executables, your two for Legends. This just, this allows you to see all the playlists. One playlist you didn't see folks was PC Gamer. There is PC Gamer support, okay? It's just not popular. You gotta put your own PC games in. Put your ROM uh, in here, the ROMs, right? You're gonna put in your directory and then you're gonna put the uh, bats in there. If you look at your settings.conf, it tells you that your ROMs are gonna go under PC Gamer ROMs, right? And it's gonna look for the bats. So in here, you're gonna have your bats and then directories of your games to support where that bat goes. Example bat file is in here. It's very simple to do. And that way uh, you can also add all your own artwork, but look at how many more directories are needed to do the impressive artwork in Legends 4. Can be done, you can always get help. And if you just choose to not use some of those wonderful 18 themes, then you can get enough artwork to stick to the themes that you absolutely like. But everything that comes with it is fully fleshed out. No corners cut, of course, by the CoinOps project team. Now, uh, I think I have covered just about everything, but finally the advanced configs. You look down here, there's 50. There are six bats in here that aren't in Legends 4, and that's the part of the patch that I was alluding to earlier as well. Because Legends 4 Max does not have background music, look, the background music two bats are missing. There are 44 in Legends 4. There are 60 here, but you substitute the two background music ones for the Super Mario switching. This is gonna be the default. Super Mario 64 is handled through RetroArch. If you run that, it will switch it over to the PC widescreen version. I'm sorry, this one will switch it over to the PC widescreen version or back to the RetroArch. All right, otherwise these are all covered in the other video, so I'll refer you to those, except for the ones that were included here. They're all gonna be under scanline effect. You're used to seeing scanline effect blooming, disable, and normal. It's these six in between that are new additions, additions and the subject of the patch that are coming up for Legends 4 and Forgotten Worlds. You notice what I didn't see? They are not compatible with collections. Different format, different setup. So don't try to apply that patch that's coming out to collections. This is only for the Legends and Forgotten Worlds builds. It is under scanline effects because these six will remove, all six of these will remove the bezel. Some people just don't like the bezels. Here you go. These six will do that. The reason that there's two of each is because you have an aspect correct or a stretch version. If you remove the bezels and you're still on a 16 by nine screen, some people 
some people like to stretch it. Otherwise, it will keep the aspect correct, okay? And then what's in the middle here is CRT Jump. That's a different shader. So this one is the CRT Geom, sure for geometry, I would imagine. Uh, shader, it's been requested quite a bit, very popular. Then there's the deluxe version. There, again, the reason there's two versions is because do you want it to stretch or maintain four by three on a 16 by nine with the bars? Then finally, there is no bezel, no shader aspect correct. So this gets rid of it all. Gets rid of the scan line bloom, no bezel, no shader, aspect correct and stretch. So these six are the part of the patch, but they're included in Max as well. These are the two that are different here. So folks, I really, really hope you enjoy this 104 gig download. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's the mature build. There may or may not be a Legends 5 if it will be a larger content update, but uh, it is really where BP wants it to be. The art artwork is amazing. It flows. It has all the bells and whistles. And now this one with the PC Gamer and the other uh, emulators, it really is nearing its completion. Uh, and it is by far my favorite build to date. So those of you that have questions, please don't ask me on the YouTube channel. Those little comment sections just aren't the place. I can't flesh out what the questions are in enough detail to help you. Always join the Discord server. Uh, just be cool, read the fact, check out all the resources. We spend a lot of time over there documenting everything because you're probably not the first person to ask that question. Keep the devs developing so they're not answering all the same redundant questions. Go through the FAQ, go through the resources, go through the wiring diagrams. Don't try to remap everything. Just rewire the first time. Wire it up for coin up specific. I don't, it's not RetroPie. It's not the same wiring diagram. We have them all made. Wire it up. You'll be good to go. You won't be in remap hell. It just works. That's the beauty of coin ops. It looks good. It works good. So with that, this is Pixel Freak signing off. We'll see you over there on the CoinOps Project Discord.